Welcome to our home. So in today's video we kind of go over the primary overlanding gear that's on the Jeep and kind of brush through some of the exterior details and some of the purposes of the equipment. While I was shooting this video we were actually right in the middle of drying, cleaning and packing everything up before we shipped the Jeep back to Canada from here in New Zealand. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, subscribe to our channel to be notified when our weekly videos and when future Jeep videos are published right here on our channel. Today we're going to talk about some of the features on our Jeep that we've been living in for the last four months here in New Zealand. Right now I'm going to talk about the ARB side awning, which is right above me here. We've set this up already. We've been using this almost every single day since we got here. It's both a sun shelter and a shelter from the rain, and then it also doubles as a tent. In this little bag here is the entire tent, and that fits into this area. So this whole area becomes a, a beautiful living space. It's got big windows and a big door. We use it to do homeschool, it, you know, as a classroom when it's raining. We use it to the kids sleep in here and set up their cots and. It's just been amazing. So as you can imagine with the surface area this big of just being, you know, tent material in a heavy downpour, it's going to start to accumulate a lot of water. And we learned this the hard way when we were camped out by the ocean. We got hit with gale force winds and torrential rains and we had it set up like this all night. Around 3 o'clock in the morning, Carol woke up and realized that there was a huge pool of water in here. And she said, oh, you better get down there and get it or it's going to break. Obviously these are aluminum poles, they can't stand that much and you know it's not designed to be a pool so as I was getting out of bed uh, I just got downstairs and it, and it collapsed one of the poles broke which we since repaired but we learned our lesson and now what we do we set this up all day if it's raining really hard you can just push the water off before we go to bed we just simply drop one of the poles and as you can see the water just rushes off all night and there's never a problem we haven't had a problem since and we've been through some really spectacular weather so easy to do it's just a little tip that you can keep in mind and you won't have a problem with your awning so this is a really nice feature I, I think you should get one if you're going to be camping for a long period of time next I want to tell you about our rooftop tent this is where we have slept Carol and I have slept for the last four months it's a Tapui ruggedized three-person rooftop tent. It's extremely comfortable. It's uh, good in all kinds of weather. We've been in really cold, frosty weather. We've been in hot, humid weather. Um, you can open up the windows and, and open up the flaps and let the air blow through in the hot weather. And you can close everything down and batten down the hatches in the cold weather. It's a three-person tent, so three people can sleep in there comfortably. There's only been two of us most of the time, and you have plenty of room. We have a full duvet in there with pillows, so it's it's quite comfortable. One night when we were in a really bad storm, all the kids came in and we had five people in there. And yes, it was a little tight, but it worked. So you've got these flaps that go up, and this is what you want when it's hot or you need a breeze in the tent, and that just opens it up. And there's three of them, one on either side, one on the front. Um, so that's a wonderful little feature, but if it's cold or frosty, you just take these down, you close it, there's a flap on the outside, a flap on the inside, and it's really quite warm and insulated. Um, on here, you have the big awning coming out over the back, so the, the actual tent ends here, but this whole section is just a nice awning that shelters you from the rain. There's a couple of ways to install these on your vehicle, either pointing to the back, so when, when it unfolds, it comes to the back, or a lot of people point it to one side or the other. It's really preference and it really depends on the configuration of your vehicle. But for us it seemed to make the most sense to have it come to the back here because then automatically in our kitchen area we have a nice roof to shelter us from all kinds of weather. So that's going to be up to you and talk to your designer as to how you want that set up. The thing about this tent as well, it has a, a, an annex area that comes down here and it, it forms, this entire area forms into another tent. So depending on the weather, you know, it can be very, very stormy or wet outside, but you're sheltered inside. And because we have our kitchen here, this gives us um, all the shelter we need to cook a meal, no matter what's happening outside.
Welcome to our home. This is, uh, as you can see, this is the cozy part of the whole camping experience. This thing is actually quite huge. I'm six foot four and I can lay out full length and stretch out as much as I want. There's still space to spare, so don't worry about the size. There's lots of room in here. So it's got a one solid piece mattress. Here's the mattress. Very, very comfortable. Underneath that is a mesh, a rubberized mesh, and then you've got the aluminum ruggedized floor. So it creates quite a comfortable bed. And then on top of that, we usually have a full duvet and some soft, com comfortable pillows. So it's so cozy, I don't know how I'll ever go back to living in a house after this experience. So we've been through all kinds of weather with this and never had a problem. If it's hot and you want some air, there's four big, huge windows plus two on the on the roof. You take the the rain slick off the top and you can have full uh, exposure to the stars and in places like New Zealand that's something you want to see. Um, you can open them up, there's screens to make sure no bugs get in if you're in an area with mosquitoes but then if it gets cold or dewy or rainy you just go ahead and zip up these weather shields and, uh, and you've got yourself a nice enclosed area completely out of the wind, out of the breeze, out of the rain and so on. Now, you can leave one closed, have one open, whatever whatever makes you comfortable. So there's there's many, many options to handle all kinds of weather. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put down the tent. So first you put down the awning. I'll show you how that works. You fold this up and then these two pieces slide under. And once you find it, you can just go ahead and push it all the way in. So that tucks in away like that. What I like to do is just fold this in behind. Makes it a little neater. And then I wrap the Starting with the trash roo bag, this is just a handy, rough, rugged bag that allows us to put things like wetsuits when they're wet instead of having them in the vehicle. They hang out here. We've got our max tracks that are here just in case we get stuck, but not likely with this vehicle. Of course, we have a spare tire. And then behind the spare tire, we've got our CB antenna and our zero dark lighting. And then a really neat feature by AEV, which is American Expedition Vehicles. They make this 10 gallon, 10.2 US gallon fuel tank. So when we're in really remote areas where there's not a gas station at every corner, you've got a spare 10 gallons here, just in case. And you can easily fill your vehicle from the spare tank. We've got things like a shovel. You've got uh, a floor jack here, which is also used in case you really, really get stuck. And so there's just these really neat features on the back of the Jeep. Really cool feature about the front runner rack is that there's an entire dinner table under the rack. Don't worry if you have guests coming over for dinner, you got lots of space. You simply slide this out and then pull out the legs. And there you have a 
whole dinner table. There's all kinds of options for roof racks. We chose to go with the front runner because it's very, very solid. And when you have that much weight of a tent and all the stuff I'm gonna show you on your roof, you want something solid. It's a permanent mount and, and it, it requires a hard top. Um, let me tell you a few features about the front runner. First of all, it's solid. You can get right up on it and stand on it and spend a lot of time on it. Before I go up there though, I'm going to show, show you these. These steps are something you can't live without. They're by a company called Cargo Master Safari. They just fold away when you're done with them. And they bolt right onto your hinges. But you get those on, it allows you to get up here and take things on and off the rack. So they have this eye bolt system which makes it incredibly handy. You can slide these around depending on the size of the bag or box that you're putting on. And then you use the front runner straps. Just clip them in. Thank you. So we strap our, our uh, bags up on top here and we just put them through and put the straps into these little eye bolts and go ahead and tighten them down like that and they're not going anywhere. Our really neat features about this rock is one, a water tank. If you're in the outback or in the desert or somewhere where water is scarce, this thing is really handy. It's made by Front Runner and it's designed to to go to the rack and it's it's plumbed into the back into the kitchen. You have a few neat things like even being able to put an axe on here. There's also plenty of room to mount all your lighting. So we have floodlights on the front, we've got lighting on the side, the left and the right, which um, you know at night it lights up our living area, our outdoor living space, and also lights up the back. And they all mount to the front runner rack. There's also some features you can get, which we have one is a a hooking system that allows you to hang an outdoor shower and also some GoPro mounts, things like that. So it's very handy and you can build it out. You can start very small and then just add your features as you go.